When it comes to ASCVD, is this a high yield topic for the exam? Absolutely. There's going to be so many questions on your boards as well as US assemblies when it comes to ASCVD. Once I tell you this fact, you'll know exactly what the answer is going to be. What if it's less than five? Very simple. You're just going to advise dietary lifestyle changes if it actually warrants it. The next group is going to be 5 to 7.5. You see the risk is going higher in this range. When it's 5 to 7.5, what you're going to do is you are going to look for risk enhancers. So you look for a risk enhancer and if the risk enhancer is present, then you will start the patient on a statin. The next group is going to be between 7.5 to 20. You see the risk is getting much, much higher. When you are between 7.5 to 20, which this patient is, because the patient's got a ASCVD score of 18, what are you going to do? The answer is, again, you're going to look for risk enhancers as shown here. If the patient has any of the risk enhancers, you're directly going to put the patient on a statin. Now, if the patient does not have a risk enhancer, what's different in this group when compared to the group between 5 to 7.5?